Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 17. So, we have an item stash opportunity. Not sure if we're going to go for this. Probably not, I wouldn't imagine. I don't really need the Neuro Trainers. They're quite far away, and we don't have the survival meals at the moment, really, to go for it. I think we need at least, maybe, well, yeah, probably the full stack of 85 before we'd even consider that. The last time we went somewhere that far we got pretty much outnumbered so I'd like to probably take more than enough people on the next time around we've got some starving animals huh um why green do you want to produce some seeds for them to eat for them to just consume Emu has been self-tamed. Okay, well, uh, go to the kill area and be slaughtered, because I don't need you. I think we already looked at this caravan. But let me check anyway. I'm pretty sure we've talked to these guys and they had nothing for us. But we'll double check on that one. Yeah, these guys had loads of meat. And all of our clothing as well. Yeah. They got nothing. Alright, leave them to it. They should leave pretty soon, hopefully. Matt's working on some of that slag. We've actually also got ourselves a deep drill. Working quite hard on some steel over here as well. In fact, steel-wise, 742. We are working on the ship crypto sleep caskets. Lumi's working very hard to get that done, and the starving animals are gone. Alright. So, I think the issue is that there is very little grass left for them to eat. Uh, after the toxic fallout, it seems to have not grown back, which is very odd. Um, but, as long as we've got hay grass seeds at the very least in within their zones that they can actually go to, they'll just eat the seeds before they're fully grown, so... We shouldn't have any issues there anymore. And hopefully produce too much hate grass. A heat wave has come along. Okay. Something to keep an eye on. Not something terribly... Terribly disturbing to see though. Because we've got, essentially, heating for everybody. Except for in some rooms here. But I will need to let that go. Alright, Butler's still got tattered apparel. Let me just check that he hasn't got anything else that's tattered. It's just his shield belt, right? It is. There's nothing really I can tell you to wear other than that, and you'll just put one back on, so... Leave you as it is. These, uh... Oh, these are tattered. Oh, God. Well, that's annoying. Extinguish the fire, please, Shoggoth. We've got a power outage over here. Get that repaired. There we go. And fixed. Might have an issue with power overnight, actually. Although it looks to be going up during the night because our uh, wind turbines are running at full capacity, which is pretty sweet. As far as our ship engine is concerned, we need 25 components. We've got eight. Yeah, we need somebody to uh, come along with components pretty soon. I'm assuming there aren't any. No, there aren't any traders at the moment. And even if there were, I'm not sure they'd have um, the components we need. Hmm. We could ask Hislior to uh, send a trade caravan. It will cost us. Wait till Lumi wakes up and I'll check how much that'll cost. Being a non-tribal faction. Yeah, poor quality. There's a chance that they have components enough to sell. Cost them 1,100 silver to request a trade caravan. You know what, let's do it. Um, 
What kind of caravan do I want? Be a bulk goods trader, right? Exotic goods is for artwork, combat is for obviously for weapons. Pirates is usually for like stims and things like that. I'll say bulk goods. Arrive in a few days. Okay. That did cost us a bit, but we've got loads of silver anyway. I want to see if that turns out to be financially viable for us in any way. How are these getting on? They're essentially done, actually. I think you've got a little bit to go, but you seem to have finished. So, let's deconstruct you. Now I can deconstruct this line here as well. Hmm. So we've got a nice little space now. Most of it is going to be taken up by our ship, mind you, but we'll see. Hunt the animal within our base, please. Keep hunting the animals on the outside of our base, please. Hunt. Hunt them all. Thank you. Minor break from Matt. Matt, what's up? Extremely hot. It is 53 in there. Hmm. Making no attempt whatsoever in here to cool down. I'm guessing the smelter produces a lot of heat that we can't really deal with. More things are broken down. Hmm. It'd be nice to have lots of things to trade by the time... Oh my god, all that to kill a rat and amu. Ooh. Skylon, the Prime Counselor of Hisliora has died. The new Prime Counselor is Trevor Trev Austin. Oh, oh dear. Maybe have uh, died on his way to our to our camp. It's a possibility. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, heat strokes right now. Minor, initial. These are probably most of the people that spend the majority of their time outside. But places with a cooler. 30 degrees, ooh. Hmm. Animal starvation again. No reason to be piglet. There's food over there. Let's check these rooms. They're, they're quite actually quite warm. Warmer than they usually should be. Huh. I guess maybe this heat wave is uh, stronger than ever. Because these are trying to keep it down to 21 and they're actually struggling in some cases. That one's 21. It is 21 in there. How's it doing in there? 41. Oh, we're missing a door. Oh. Well, that's problematic. Maybe that's why we haven't been getting any beer recently. It'll make a lot of sense. Outside the ideal temperature range. Do you want to finish that, butler? Could be so kind. Oh, you already did it. Cool. There we go. Yeah, I won't mind this, uh... This heat wave going away pretty soon. I think everybody should no longer have any kind of heat stroke, though, because they have been in their bedrooms, which are a reasonable temperature. Yep. Okay. Cool. Now, starving animals should head up here and eat the seeds, or at the very least, the grass. And it looks like they're doing that. Some of them, at the very least. The heat wave's over. Wonderful. 
I don't suppose any of the animals had a heat stroke of any kind. No. I'm not letting these guys go unrestricted, because the moment I do that, they'll just absolutely wreak havoc upon our crops, and I don't want that. Equally as much as I don't want them to starve. So, we'll see how that goes. As I said, though, this, uh, this zone right here, they should be able to walk right into any of the, uh, the unfinished plants. So the sooner they do that, the happier we'll all be. Crypt sleep caskets are finished. Wonderful. Final bit, the reactor. Create. Start the reactor. Ship crypto sleep caskets take ten components and uranium. I'm gonna wait for this to finish on the component side of things. I'd love for people to be working on this round the clock though. suppose I could bump everybody who's good at crafting to priority one crafting so that the first person to be able to do it will do it and then they'll do whatever else they can do plus doing crafting is gonna be a good thing because the uh, trade caravan is gonna be here in a few days so any craftables are gonna be sellables Major break for Anamu. Where are you? Rebuffed by Jaeger a few times. You should maybe give up on that. And eight without a table. It's your own fault. Feeling bad. Everything else is fine. We're used to having a lot of... Uh, a lot of pluses on our guys. Not today, apparently. But yeah, you can even eat the, uh, the roses and things like that. Don't tell me you're starving. And then go and have a feast. If they starve, it's extra meat for us anyway. It's just the way that it's going to be. Should maybe start deconstructing this as well. We'll get some steel back from that. And it's cover that's close to home, which I'm not really that happy about. Although what I will do is I'll cancel those and keep those around so that that can actually act as kind of a... Um, a weird funnel to put them into these deadfall traps over here, which should be auto rearmed. One of your machining tables is broken down. No, not the machining table. Whatever will I do except for put more components into it? Everything takes components. It's getting ridiculous. Butler, cooking like a boss. Appreciate that, Butler. Pretty much keeping the entire colony fed. Thirty-three survival meals. We want about eighty. Hmm. So yeah, our meat situation's a little bit of a weird one. We don't actually have that much. Not when we had uh, Mandox around to hunt round the clock. Those were some good times. These days, we've got subpar people doing it. Maybe though for an army, maybe you shouldn't have the, uh, the minigun. Maybe that's just not going to do him any good. So I could give him the assault rifle instead see how he uh, works with that in, in place of his minigun maybe I'll give somebody else the minigun later down the line hey the caravans arrived let's have a look at this it better be a giant caravan it's a reasonably sized caravan. Well, it better have lots of components. That's all I'm saying. Lumi, I'm going to call upon you in a moment. 
You best be ready. Piglet's no longer incapable of walking. Oh god. Is that a starvation thing? It's his own damn fault kind of thing. I'm telling you that right now. Please don't linger up, up there. I want you down here. Come into the base where it's nice and cozy and probably too warm. Also, a nice time to see which direction these guys head in. Yeah, they took around our uh, deadfall traps. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to do that anyway. They're supposed to know where they are and avoid them. Right, trade with these guys. It's better to be worth the 1,000 silver I paid to get you here. Components, buy them all. It was somewhat worth it. Good. We're at 46 Neutramine as well, so let's buy... Hmm... 54. And then let's sell you all of our kibble. All of our chem fuel. Which we have too much of, because uh, we were mining it for a while. And we shouldn't have been. Sell you some of our leathers. Uh, monkey hide, ostrich leather, rat leather, tortoise leather. Sell you all of our clothing. There we go. You actually can't afford to take all of our stuff. I appreciate that. Still gonna keep trying to sell you stuff because I'm gonna try and buy things as well. Okay. See, I could buy some steel. I don't think we ever need any more steel. Thrumbo fur. Takes seven silver per. Not bad. If I was to sell this, I'm not going to, but 1,900 all the way to 3,100. Nice. We want to make some stuff out of Thrumbo fur, actually, but I want a really good tailor working on it. So that's something I'm going to have to uh, sort out soon enough. Okay, so I need to buy a thousand silver worth of things from you, or at least not sell you a thousand silver worth of things. I'm probably just going to take some meat from you, honestly. Take your turkey meat. And... Let's see could sell you a bit of cloth. Really could. Buy some more of that. We do have 467 cloth, so I'm gonna bring this. Minus 60. All the way up to your limit. Mostly, anyway. And I think that'll do. Buying tons of meat which we'll put straight into the fridge because we've got space. All of your components, which should hopefully go straight into... Straight into this. So we only need 25. Alright, let me um, make sure people are hauling this. Brian, get hauling. Lumi, get hauling. This meat should not stay outside any longer than it has to. Freeman, come and haul. Anamu, come haul. Shoggoth, haul the turkey meat first, please. We've got 30 left. Brian, one last little bit, and then you can go do whatever you want. Thank you. Alright, we got tons of meat again. Hopefully we can keep on top of that with our hunting. So Shoggoth is now building ourselves an engine. Nice. Hmm. Sweet progress. Well, now that's set, we can actually start putting some ship crypto sleep caskets in. Ah, oh, they got to build. Hmm. How do we want to do this? 
So they've got to be attached like so. Seems like there isn't any other way we can do it. And that circle's where they have to enter from. Hmm. So yeah, I think it's going to have to be like... Like that. Oh, but you're not going to let us build the uh, other engine part there. Hang on. Don't build that one. Build those there. We don't actually need the other engine bit. It's just... It'll look nicer. We need a reactor as well. Hmm. Not sure where the reactor's going to go. We're probably going to need another structural beam, which means we're going to have to move this turret. Maybe up that way, because I think it's just going to be on the edge. Yeah. So we're going to have to put that there as well. Make a bigger ship, because I want to take everybody if I can help it. Oh my god. This trade caravan has run all of the dirt into all of our rooms. Jaeger cannot be happy about that. One bit. Hmm. Launch the ship. Let's go. No, I'm joking. Trade caravan's leaving. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for uh, trailing pretty much your entire journey's worth of dirt into our rooms. I enjoyed that. It was fun. Hmm. It's going to be quite a large ship if we want to get everybody on it. Maybe slightly too large. We can almost make two caskets by the looks of things. With our uh, materials that we've got now. So I think we'll do what we did last time when we uh, made our escape on the ship. And that will be just keep adding to it until we can take everybody. But if we come to an emergency situation which requires a hasty escape, then the best X number of people from our colony get to leave. And we'll make the decision on the fly on that one. I think that will be a fun thing to do. But there you go. Anyway, guys, I think that is where we're going to cut off the episode for today. So we're going to make our crystal sleep ship caskets and then ooh, caravan request hang on 242 ambrosia sorry cannot cannot do that speaking of ambrosia that bit's gone but this one all of that's ready to be harvested so harvest it guys harvest it cool Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, so be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, it's a great way to support the channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon as well, right next to the subscription button, and you'll get notifications when the next videos go live. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.